Gabby. How we doing? Nice day, isn't it, today? Yeah, it is a nice day today. I am having a, a looking out. The sun is shining out here. It's a lovely day today. Yes, it is a very nice day today. And every day is a nice day. Even though uh, some days it's raining, we have to remember that this is the day God gave us. You know, we were singing about that a while ago. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah, that's the song. Um, that's all what it is. Hey, we should rejoice. Even when it's raining, it's not a nice day. And uh, even when things are happening around us, we should remember that uh, Jesus still watches over us. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I, I realize that. And, uh, but I still get concerned and maybe a little bit afraid of some of the things that go on in this world, you know, with this, uh, what's that big word? Damn panic, pandemic. Yeah, okay. And, uh, you should worry about that? Uh, probably not. But, you know I do. Yeah, I know you do. But we really shouldn't. I suppose not. I was reading in Matthew today, chapter 10, and, uh, you know what I read? Uh, well, there's a lot of stuff in chapter 10, and down the end it talks about terrible times, but that, that God is in control. Jesus is watching over us. Uh, yeah, I think it did say that. And it also said that the hairs of our head are numbered. And I don't know how many hairs I got. I, uh, well, you got me all tied up in, well, I don't know what it is. It's not a, really a ponytail. Uh, definitely not pigtails because they're not braided. You, uh, you're not a very good hairdresser, you know. Uh, <laughs> I know that. Uh, but I do the best I can. And uh, somebody else did your hair for this for this time around. Yeah, it's. Uh, I like it better when they do it than when you do it. Well, you're harsh on me today, aren't you? I do the best I can. I know, but your best is not very good at times, you know. Uh, yeah, I know. Anyway, what are you thinking? Well, let's see. How many hairs in your head? One, two, three, four. Gabby, never mind. It doesn't matter how many hairs are in my head. Well, it says they are numbered, and and uh, it says Jesus knows, God knows the number of hairs in our head, in your head and mine. Yeah, that's a lot of hair, isn't it? We both have a good head of hair. Yeah, I was looking in church the other day, and Man, oh man, we got a lot of bald-headed men in our church. That's all right. There's, it's not about what's on the outside, it's what's inside that matters with people, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. But uh, just saying, it's not a big job to count some of the hairs on people's heads. However, with some of us, there's a lot, a lot of hair. Yeah. So, what's your point? Well, the point is that the hairs of our head are numbered, and I guess that's important. It says so in the Bible. So maybe I should be counting your hair, and you should be counting mine. This is there. Is, is it not important? No, Gabby, it's not important. So why are our hairs numbered? What's the point? Uh... Well, the point is, you're not getting the point. What? No, you're not getting the point. Well, I should be. It says my ears are numbered, and I think that must be important. No, it's not. Jesus is talking to the, his disciples, and he's talking to us, saying that he knows everything about us. He knows all about us, and he cares about us. He's concerned about us. 
Okay. That's good, I guess. It's He knows everything about us. He knows what's going on in our lives. And if he cares about other things like the birds of the air and the flowers and so on, think about how much more he cares about us than those other things. Okay, I think I'm getting that now a little bit. So what about the hairs of my head? Well, the hairs of your head, it just shows how much God knows about us, that he cares about us and watches over us, and he, he even knows the number of hairs in our head. Uh, I think I'm getting that now. Yeah, so he, if he knows that, he knows everything else about us. Yeah, and that's, that's good. He knows all about us. He cares about us. He's, he sees all the things that we worry about, and even though we go through difficult times, he goes through those diff difficult times with us. Okay, I think I'm getting it now. So, the story is really about God's love for us and watching over us. There, you're getting it. You're finally getting it. And I don't have to worry because Jesus loves me and God watches over me. That's right. You got it. That's what it's all about. So anybody that's following us today, they should go to Matthew chapter 10 and read uh, down in the latter part of, the, of that chapter, the 21 and so on, and find out how, just how much God does care about us and how he watches over us. Oh, great. Jesus loves me, this I know. Yes, that's what it's all about. And he loves us and watches over us and cares about us. Isn't that nice? He loves us and watches over us. And so we don't have to worry this week, do we? Oh, I'm getting it now. I'm a little slow at times, I guess. But, yeah. So it's not about my hair. It's about how much Jesus cares. That's right. You got it. So anyway, Gabby, we've been here long enough. Say goodbye to everybody. Okay. Bye-bye. God bless you all. Hope to be back next week. Okay, so that's great. So you have a good week, Gabby. Amen. Yeah, that's the way you end, isn't it? Amen. Have a great week. Yeah, okay. Have a great week, everyone. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.